Okay, we've talked about some of the things we can look for, but let's talk about gold filled. Now, gold filled is items that are made a certain way or heavy gold plate that basically can fool you and they can even test 10 karat on the streak test. If you don't file far enough into it, they can also not test at all. My recommendation is if you have, let's just say there's an item that someone has and you're not really sure if it's gold or not gold, but they're like, I don't want you to touch this. If you put a file next to it, they're not, not everybody's like me. They aren't going to let you just file their loop. I don't want you to file that piece of jewelry. What, you know, so what you can do is if you're worried it's gold filled, you can take the item. This is again, explain to the person, this is a non-destructive test. Actually let them feel your stone. It's a very smooth stone. It's harder than metals, but it's still smooth. So because it's harder than metals, when you rub it, it takes that piece of metal off, but it's nothing they can see. So if you're testing for gold filled or something you think might be like trying to trick you, one of the tests that we do is we do three firm rubs. Now, I haven't mentioned this, but all the rubs you should be doing should be fairly firm. You want to leave a streak. You may even hear that noise, but you want to, for gold filled items or something you think might be gold filled, you want to rub three separate rubs. You want to basically have th one, two, three. And then what you do is for gold filled items, you don't worry about if it's 18 karat or whatever. You just take the 14 karat acid and you have three streaks on here. What I do is I put the, put the acid on each streak. Most of the times if it's gold filled, the first streak will stay. The second streak will kind of uh, disappear, kind of. But if it's gold filled, if you, you've rubbed it hard enough, just like I said, the third streak will disappear. What that means is you've gotten through that level of gold, you got to the plating, you got to the gold filled, and now you know it is not gold. When the third streak disappears, it is gold filled, gold plated. Stay away from it. And that's very important because like I said, a lot of these people that know what they're doing, they don't want to defile it. But you have to insist to at least get the three rubs and you have to be firm. Now again, you don't want to damage, you don't want to damage something that might be rare, but you want to rub it hard enough where when you put that third streak on, you know that the base metal, if any, is there. If all three streaks stay the same, then most likely, again, you can never say 100%, but most likely it's going to be a gold item.